feel so incredibly excited. I haven't been this excited in probably a couple of years to go hunting for anything. I see a bull for sure, right here. Top left corner, he just went through an opening. Good bull too. And we're about 350 yards from where we last saw him, the bull with all the cows. We're finally on his hillside, but look where we came from. It's been a crazy day of walking. Dad gummit, buddy. That was a lot Dad of fun. <laughs> Some of the most fun I've ever had, I think. To the road we go, boys. I think so. Forward. See you, G. So, we just have been having a reset day. We left Grant last night at like 10, drove a long way, and all day today we've been shooting bows, doing laundry, taking showers, doing podcasts, just like trying to get caught up on all the things that we haven't been doing while hunting, but it's 8.20. Seems like it's about midnight. Yeah, it feels like it's midnight. It doesn't look like much pressure here. No, that's right the now. interesting thing though. There's only two trucks here. Past times of hunting. It might be in the overflow a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Even last year, way more people where we were. You gotta assume that they've been in there. Basically packing in to the end of season. Yeah. <sighs> You're kidding. Oh, are we sleeping here? Yeah. Well, what do you do about that? Did you hear it that time? <laughs> LOL, oops, thought about going 18 miles in and they're right there. <laughs> right there. Like we're at the pull-offs, <laughs> like, guess what do you do? All summer you plan on like walking <laughs> way in there. What do you think, Ben? Here's, here's my thought too. How many times have we chased the turkey right by the highway? Mm-hmm. Or right by the road and like not mm -hmm. that you can't kill it but it's like get yourself in a weird situation where tomorrow midday we're down yeah that's there like, and we've chased it to like who knows where and now you're like eight miles from where you want to that's be. that's what i that's what i'm worried about if it was like 4 30 a.m yeah you're just i'm down for whatever 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 We made the decision to hike in anyway. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right decision. There's only five more full days of season. He's probably been hunted, and also there's a lot of places he could go between 9 p.m. and daylight tomorrow. So we're just gonna go in, hunt the stuff that we've been looking forward to hunting, I think. It seems like it makes the most sense. So we're headed in. Whoops. <laughs> Got a little later than we thought, but. We decided to stop just because we don't want to wear ourselves out. We're honestly only probably halfway to where we want to hunt, so let's throw the tents out and go to sleep. You ready to film your second elk kill? <laughs> See? We can legally harvest. <laughs> let's get one. Kill day 2022. Picking up where we left off. And at some point today, we'll be hunting probably for the next couple hours that we're gonna be hiking. I feel so incredibly excited. I haven't been this excited in probably a couple of years to go hunting for anything. So, bear tag does some crazy things to a guy. So, Colin ever gets his stuff put together, we'll get going. Not playing on it. <laughs> a cow down drainage. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Whatever cowboy has to come get that thing, that's a real cowboy. Yeah. Also, it could mean that there's a way easier way to get in here. Oh, deer right here. Is 
dude. I love my sword. I'm literally not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna start off this conversation with a lie, but I love my sores. summer we've been looking at this dude. Here, let's get that phone scope on. There's two up there for sure at least. So you're telling me there's a chance. I think I'd want to just be anywhere like relatively close to that meadow tonight. You know there's a bowl in there. Yeah. Like if you could just be going up that edge, they're almost pulling down. I'm pumped now, son. We hunting that whole walk. There's a lot of deer, but there's not really much elk sign, but getting over here well away from the road. It's just rugged in here, as you can tell. <laughs> Bit of rug in here. See that drain? That's like right along where they're at. You might be able to get in that thing. Oh, that shallow drain with the rock at the top. That's a potential play. I see a bowl for sure, right here, top left corner. He just went through an opening. He's one of the ones in the timber. Good bowl too. The bowl. There's definitely a bowl in that timber, like for sure. The lower meadow, there's an elk, big elk, standing right, right in the open. You might have to put the spot on him to tell. Yeah, it's a little bowl. The bowl I saw, first, I think, was bigger than that. Well, that's pretty cool. You just want to go home now? Yeah. It almost seems to me like what makes the most sense in this situation is to just get closer and just keep watching them. And if, like, all of a sudden he beds and he's in just a bonehead spot or he starts bugling and you can just ram in on him, you know? Mm -hmm. See, what do you think? I agree. I think we need to be closer bowl last I saw is right here. I was sitting here looking at the phone scope video and I realized that one of the bowls that we saw is significantly bigger than what we thought. He's a daddy. So we're just going to get as tight to that spot as we can. That's what my gut instincts are telling me in this situation. Might as well run right at him. Let's haunt him. Snowing, hailing, all the same. giant. Seems like if we can get to where those cows are, there's, I mean, there's a good chance. If, if we can get a consistent wind coming down, especially, mm -hmm. we can go straight up in there, man. Pretty good chance that he just crosses in front of us at some point. Yeah. Dude, thing's huge. Hopefully by the time we get over there, he feels like you. Saw the bull with all the cows. 
we're finally on this hillside, but look where we came from. It's been a crazy day of walking, and we're gonna probably split up. Unfortunately, we only have one man of the camera. We got these GoPros all on our shoulders, which hopefully you guys have been liking that. We're just sliding up here, gonna try to listen. The wind is just floating down. I'm really hoping to hear them bugle. I'm hoping that they haven't moved. They basically have two escapes from that bedding area. If they move that way or this way, we're gonna hopefully have it covered with both Colin and then Ben and I. to get him out of here.
I'm gonna start moving. Sid, actually. Well, that's the result of all that. Oh, I can see elk up here still. I filmed him for forever. Then he started looking down towards you, and it seemed like there was something that got him to kind of spin. There was a deer. I bumped the, a deer. The deer. Oh, okay. Well, when he stepped over to the left, I wasn't able to film him anymore. It was crawling up, and I like peeked up, and I just heard. I made a bad decision to shoot. I'm upset with myself with that one. It starts playing out. 
after so long being so excited that this was gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm like, I think all the sweat and the adrenaline is all kicking in. The heat of the moment, I let like how much I put into that dictate whether or not I shot. I feel stupid because of it. I missed him. We can live to hunt another day, but it's like, if I'd have hit that thing bad, I can't live with myself. I'm just like learning the hard way. And I wish I would have just not shot and learned something else. But instead I had to learn, don't take the shot when you're at a steep angle and you got a pack on. And there's just a lot of factors that went into it that aren't like target shooting. And I should have been more responsible, but I wasn't. I'm just gonna shake it off tonight. We'll be back after him tomorrow. Find yeah, ourselves a good spot to camp in here. And We're gonna get another opportunity. Fun stalk, brother. Yeah, thanks for, I mean, you killed it, dude. He's freaking big. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big one. Big, big one. I don't even think this thing knows what's going on, though. No. The one that I just... Dude, there were still elk standing up yeah. there when I was walking through the park. I just pulled this out. <laughs> I'm surprised to find that it's in completely pristine shape. It's not dented at all, so... Touch her up and we're hunting tomorrow. Let's go get Colin set up camp. Drive my dang shirt out, because I'm soaking wet with sweat and I'm freezing now. Way to fall down this. <laughs> you want the fastest way or the safest way? Because I think if we fall that way, we'll be at the bottom pretty quick. 